Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm Iman. Today I am doing this super sultry but very natural everyday makeup look. This is a look you can do anytime and it's just really pretty and bringing out all of your natural features. I am starting with the Laura Mercier Hydrating Foundation Primer. This is definitely one of my favorites. I use this a lot. It's a great base before applying foundation. It just gives your skin that little bit of hydration so it makes the foundation go on really really smooth. I'm also going to go in with the Peter Thomas Roth pore putty this is great as a pore reducer minimizer if you have large pores or if you have oily skin i like to apply this before foundation as well just like in the key areas though just around my cheeks my forehead my chin any area that gets shiny and this just really helps control shine and also make the foundation look smoother and just go on better i am using a new product it's not new on the market but a new product for me this is the laura geller concealer this has become something that i'm kind of obsessed with because it makes such a difference for the under eye circles so if you have any darkness this is great because it is this kind of thick peach tone concealer so i apply this before foundation and before my other concealer and i feel that it really really helps get rid of any dark circles or any discoloration um and i've kind of been obsessed with doing this all the time now so this is like a must do step for my makeup for foundation i'm using the la mer foundation and i'm popping in a little bit of the smashbox primer oil so i tried this technique in one of my last videos where i mixed the oil with the foundation and i loved it it's a great way to sheer out your foundation so if you have a foundation that's a little bit more full coverage this is a great way to kind of sheer it out and thin it out and make it a little bit lighter the oil definitely does kind of break down the, the foundation a little bit so you're not going to get as much coverage but it does give a really different effect it makes your skin look more glowy it makes your skin look more natural so i think it's a great option you don't have to do it all the time but it's definitely a great option if you want like a different type of look on your skin last time i used a bit too much oil i used about two drops last time and i realized that was too much so this time i only used one drop of oil to about two pumps of foundation and i found that that was the perfect combo I've been playing around with a lot of concealers lately, trying to really find the best ones. This one from Laura Mercier is awesome. It's a secret camouflage. I used to have this in my kit as a makeup artist, and I used to use it all the time. And you know, sometimes you just kind of forget about products. I totally forgot about this one, but I went and restocked and it's such a good concealer because the compact comes has two different colors so you're getting the peach undertones and you're also getting the yellow undertone and i've just been really feeling that i don't know if it's like lack of sleep or what or maybe stress but my dark circles are more than they've ever been so concealer has become my best friend <laughs> and this concealer is Thick. like it's a nice thick but really creamy texture so you're gonna get a lot of coverage and you're gonna get the color correcting as well because you have the peach and the yellow so I love this concealer this has been my go-to for the last little while I'm going in with the Patrick Star MAC collab setting powder guys I realized that I haven't done a voiceover video in so long but I really like it because sometimes it helps me just like focus so much more on the makeup when i am not trying to talk <laughs> while doing it it really makes a difference so just being able to do voiceover is a nice change plus i think like it makes the videos a bit more streamlined so if you want just like a good solid tutorial you could just play it and you don't have to listen to me chat too much <laughs> So I'm really not sure why I did this, but I did cream contour after powder, <laughs> which you totally are not supposed to do. But I'm using this contour palette from Zoeva, and it's great because it has all of these different cream contour colors, the dark contours and highlight colors as well. And I used the dark color to contour my cheekbones and my nose my jawline and my chin and then i just blended it all out i love this brush from it cosmetics it's double-ended it's great for like your nose area on the smaller side and then everywhere else on the bigger side and it just blends out any cream product so beautifully you can also use this for foundation 
but I love using this for contour. You guys are gonna see, I love how the skin looked in this look. After I was done, I just thought it, the skin looked so pretty. For the brows, I'm using the new Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer. This is a new favorite, and I'm so excited to let you guys know that I asked you guys in my last video to help me come up with a name for my new videos that I'm gonna be posting that have to do with all my travel trips that I take for work, which are always so amazing, and I would love to share them with you guys. And I asked you guys to help me come up with a name for this series of videos and and one of the suggestions was glamcation and i absolutely love it so that is now the official name of the series the first one is coming up next week it's going to be my glamcation video with maybelline and i hope that you enjoy it and just kind of get a peek inside a little bit of this crazy makeup world and find it inspiring in some way I will be using the Carly Bible Deluxe Eyeshadow Palette today. This has all the colors that I need. It has kind of these pinky brownie tones and all of the beautiful highlights as well. So I'm starting off with this warm, soft brown. This is the perfect color for my crease. Just sweeping that across from corner to corner and bringing it kind of in towards my inner corner and extending it all the way out to my eyebrows. And then I'm taking this really beautiful kind of dark mauvey pink, which I normally would not take, but I don't know what my mood has been lately. I've really been kind of craving very natural, very beautiful, pretty makeup. I'm not in the mood to do like extreme over the top makeup right now. I hope you guys are okay with it just for a few more videos. That's just really been the mood that I've been in. I just kind of want to do beautiful makeup that just brings out my natural features so if that's what you want to just bring out your natural features in just the most pretty way possible that is what you'll be getting from me in my videos recently <laughs> and then i took that new tone eyeshadow and i applied it on my lid just to brighten up my lid area and to brighten up the eye in general and now i'm taking that first brown shadow that we used a little bit of this dark mauve and a little bit of this dark brown yes i dipped into three different shadows because i wanted to kind of just enhance the outer corner to deepen and darken it a bit but still use the same tone so that's why i dipped in all those colors just applying that color in the outer corner and blending that's all i'm doing and then i'm blending out with the bigger brush as well and you guys could see the way that I'm blending out that outer corner towards my brows to really give kind of that cat eye shape, which is so flattering on all eye shapes. It really just extends your eyes, makes it look so much more sultry. And I just love that look for eyeshadow. I'm using the Bomb Cosmetics Schwing Eyeliner. I really like the tip of this eyeliner. It's super thin. It's kind of hard and plasticky, but it just gives you a lot of control to create a very very thin line so if you want like a thin liner that isn't going to be very obvious this is a great liner to use for that so i drew the line across my lid to start and then i went into the inner corner to fill i have a full video that tells you how to do the perfect cat eye every time i'm linking it for you guys right here if you want to check it out it's a great tutorial a great way to practice and then you could see that i'm extending that when just past my crease this is another way to really just extend the shape of your eye and make it look so so pretty and for lashes, I'm using these ones from Eyelure. They are the Nikki Filippi collab. These look so pretty on. They were the perfect lashes for this eye makeup look because they just have like this really nice curve on them. It was the perfect lash for this makeup. I added a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. And then to finish off the face, I went in with the Girlactic Bronzer to bronze everything up and also use it kind of like as a contour powder as well. And then I went in with the MAC Mineralize Highlighter and used that all over my cheeks and this just gave my skin the most beautiful glow. I didn't really want to add any blush because I just wanted this kind of bronzy tone all over. And then I took the Lancome Highlighter, which was so beautiful, added that in all of the key areas and my skin just looks so glowy and fresh and I just loved love this look for the lips i'm using another maybelline product that i really like this is 
their new matte liquid lipsticks. They come in so many different nudes and I love this color. It was perfect for this makeup. I'm listing everything below in the description box for you guys to check out. I use this gloss from MAC just in the center. I hope you guys love this makeup. I thought it was just so pretty and fresh and natural and really just brings out all of your best features. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to add me on Instagram at Iman. Stay tuned for another tutorial coming up this Sunday. I'm totally on a roll. <laughs> I can't wait to share it with you guys. And if you're loving these looks, please let me know in the comments. Love you guys so much and I will see you in another video very soon.